I didn't realise we had control over Lofty just yet. Forget the zippling, can't we just fly everywhere? Belly of the Beast. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm flipping cool as anything I am. Not bad at all. And now we're in. So this is what the Horned One's insides look like. Blimey. Blimey. And Dolorin's really in here somewhere? Yes. Indeed he is. We believe he is performing a certain ceremony in order to unleash the Horned One's true power, with which he intends to restore Allegoria to its former glory. Alright, then we best go in there and give the swab a clobber in before he can finish up! Morningstar should be able to deal as much damage to the monster in here as it can to the Horned One. So I suggest you make good use of it, Evan. I will. Cool, cool, cool. Right, let's get a quick item check right now. I might even bring Bracken into the fray, I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the stats. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. No, Tani's a nice all-rounder. I'm going to keep Tani out for now. Let's make sure that everything is tippity-top right now. So we've got top three swords. Uh, what about the wand? Yep, right the way in the tippity-top. Robes, yep, tip-top. Boots, tip-top. Ring is all good. Uh, necklace of insight. Mm, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm fine with that. Right, Roland, you could do with a slightly better bit of armor, couldn't you? Warlord armor, sounds good to me. Uh, look at those Thanos boots. <laughs> it's like the gauntlet, but they've got like boot versions. There you go, fireproof, and I guess weapon front. There was one more sword that you could have, wasn't there? So let's move everything up a teensy bit. Redeemer sword, and then a Starfall sword for you. Good job. Did the other Starfall sword have an extra thing? No, it didn't. It's just as it is. Okay. Uh, best gun right now is equipped. Good job, mate. And other than that, I think then we just got to deal with Tarni. So, Chieftain Cloak, good job. Stable Boots, you can have them. Other than that, I think you're looking alright. What about your weapons, though? Oh, yeah, we've got plenty of new stuff. Here we go. Boop. And the Accursed Dragon Lance. Oh, a Dreamy Dragon Lance. Alright. And then we've got, all oh, the Venomous, what's that? Blackwing Bow. Look at that, 240 damage she shreds with that. Good god. Can't save here either, damn dude. I was kind of hoping that there'd be a trip door, but it did say before coming in here that I wouldn't be able to come back. So trying to run this with <clears throat> very few healing materials is a huge risk, but we're already in now. We might as well try. Freaky. There's only a flipping trip door by here. Fancy that, huh? Really? In here? Huh? That's got to be a trap. The Horned One was Allegoria's kingmaker. As such, it was an integral part of that kingdom. The intertwining of their energies could perhaps have given rise to such an anomaly. Huh. Well, whatever the reason, I'm not about to look a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah. Seems like somebody else somewhere is looking out for us. So does this mean we can teleport out? Oh my god, I hope so. Hold on, let's find out. There we go. Bowels of the Beast Tripdoor. So, does that mean that I can pop back to my kingdom real quick? Oh my god, I think I can. Yes, I can. Okay, cool. Right, back to Evermore real quick. We need to buy some stuff. Now, I have upgraded my shop to the maximum level, to level 4. I'm assuming that's the maximum level because there's no level up option now. It's just grayed out. And I still don't have more anything more than regular six sensors, which I think is really strange. Uh, sorry, uh, actually, yeah, regular six sensors and regular... Um, What's it called? Uh, Soraways as well, so I'm just very confused by the whole thing. So we might have to teleport yeah, over to another kingdom in order to buy a couple of, like, you know, tier 3s or tier 4s. I'll tell you what, just before we head off as well, let's try and improve everybody's stuff right now. Uh, oh, we need quite a few items to do that. Okay, maybe not. Uh, we can upgrade Roland, though, which is nice. Let's go ahead and add... Oh, it's only an extra 3. I don't, think, I don't know if we're really going to feel the effects of that. Oh. Okay, those upgrades aren't that impressive. What about our weapon upgrades? Maybe we'll get a little bit more umph out of certain things. Uh, where is it? Improved weapons. Sword of Unity needs dead prisms and nocturnium nuggets. Okay, we don't have any of those. Can upgrade this, though. Again, only by three. Genuinely don't know if we're going to feel the effects of that. You know what? Let's just leave it. That's fine. I'm guessing that buying items goes in the order of kingdom. So if we were to go to Ding Dong Dell, that might be the best shout. All right, you lot. Welcome. We're kicking some serious booty. Send me some serious gear. All right, there you go. Let's get like 
20 of them. <laughs> really doesn't matter how much we spend at this point. There we go, 20 of them. We've got all the money in the world, my friends. Uh, Venom be gone. I've only got a few of them. Let's crank it up a bit. Bit of broth. Don't think we really need that. Uh, and we're already good for regular right. soraways. I think it might even be in Broadleaf where they sell the four-leafed ones. Welcome to Swift Solutions. Hello, mate. Can we report in some tasks? There you go. Giant's bow gone in. Good job. Real quick, let's just see if we can trade in some tokens for another citizen. Just for the hell of it. 45, 37, and 47. Uh, what stats do they have? Oh, they're all magic, so I might as well go for the top one. There you go. Oh, that's just a quest start, though, isn't it? Okay, fair enough. By the way. Oh, by the way. Try not to get yourself killed with that horned one. He's a rather vicious blighter, isn't he? Back in the bowels of the beast. We progress across the map, not going to the east. We wind and we twine and we run through the cords until we find a level that has had fallen floors. Evan ascends and climbs ever so high. He hopes that Lofty won't fall and probably die. At the top is a kingdom, beautiful as ever. Is this Allegoria with the clear weather? What the? Is this a city? What the heck is going on? Could this be Allegoria? Did we somehow find our way into another into the dimension that swallowed it up? I think not. I believe what we are seeing are Dolaran's desires given form. This is not Allegoria, but merely a memory of what it once was. So, none of this is real. Oi! Hey, look! There's some kind of castle over there. Well, that'll be where Dolaran's doing his funny business. I'd put money on it, man. Guess we better go and inspect it then. This is quite a nice place, actually. Kind of gives me an Alma Moon vibe to an extent. It's a bit like Alma Moon meets King's Landing for me. Uh oh. Ugh. Not again. Ugh. Roland! Roland! Uh, are you alright? Don't tell me Roland is Dolaran's, like, soulmate. I'm fine. Something is far from right. Mm. Such a pleasure to welcome visitors to my realm. <laughs> Though many souls have joined me here, you are the first to do so willingly. Uh. Dolaran, we won't let your plan succeed. We're going to stop you. <laughs> of course you are. Try as you might, boy. You cannot even hope to touch me. I look forward to seeing you suffer. Puh! Puh! Oh, Snake Face may talk a good game, but he's all a quiver at us having made it this far. You mark me words! Alright, let's get moving. We can't let any more souls be stolen. How about we just smash that big crystal in the middle? That to me seems like the best option. Gotta be honest. Oh, another trip door there. So when we looked at the teleporter, it did like there was a few places we could teleport to, so this will be interesting. The Lost City trip door. Ooh, oh, there's a spring lock chest down there as well. They're all coming out of nowhere now. What was that? Three pieces of Spitfire silk. Ooh, sounds like a somewhat rare material. There you go. The Gloomy Spiteful Staff. Now, is that going to be any good? Would they give you just an OP staff right at the very end? Yes, they would. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. Evan's got himself a little, a, little, a little upgrade. Can't talk today. I basically got, you know when you sometimes get like a really like sore spot on your tongue? Like, I don't know if it's an ulcer or not, but you just feel it every time you talk when it brushes against your teeth. I've got that going on right now. What is this? The crystal appears to be tainted. Reach out and touch it. Hold on a minute. Let me look at the map of this place. Right, so the front door was there, but the front door looked locked. I'm just going to try it. Sod it. I reckon you have to go into these crystals and beat something before the door opens. <laughs> if not, then we're totally wasting our time. Oh my god! Alright, whoa! Okay, hold on a minute. I wasn't quite expecting that. Oh, get the obsidians, get the obsidians. Don't let them go just yet. There you go, nice. Oh, there's a goo! Oh! Yeah, stay back from the goose. We don't like the goose. The goose are scary and painful. Oh, my word. Evan, what's going on, mate? 
Go, 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 go. Nice. Don't lock onto that part of the body. There you go. Nice. Just keep using Mornstar here. Or the Blade of Togetherness or whatever you want to call it. It's Mornstar. We all know it's Mornstar. Uh, there we go. Big slashes. Nice. Regular old attacks coming in. Nice. And he's down. And let's get another one in. I should probably go for the head, shouldn't I? Oh, okay, maybe not for now. There we go. Not in too shabby here, actually. Doing all right. Keep it going. Cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, we almost had an effect here. We could have kicked in there. Where are my little higgledy piggledies? There they are. Big tail swooping in. And let's get back to it. Tell you what, my heavy attack should now be doing more damage. Because I cranked that up in the tactic tweaker. And I turned down the blocking one. Because as everybody points out, I never block. Oh, Mr. Special. Damn need. Yeah, he got me that time. That one was my fault. I didn't move nearly quickly enough. Okay, go, go, go. Let's go, go, go. We're all good. Okay, oh, get the Obsidious. Don't let them heal up. Oh, wait, are the Obsidious? What's it called? I can't even see what it's called. Oh, it's called a Lost Soul. Okay, fair play. Whoa. Oh, wait, are you like a... I didn't even know what he was just then. Oh, he exploded after a certain amount of time. Get the cannon out, get the cannon out. I'm going to get swiped. It's fine, I think I triggered it in time. There we go. We're good. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. Come on. I just want to get close to it. I've got a lot of that I want to share with it. There we go. Nice. Let's get to it. That'll do. I got some damage him. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. All right. Stick with Mornstar for now. Oh, can I not swap blade? My swap blade icon's broken. That's really strange. What happened to my swapping blades? Normally, it's on L2, isn't it? Yeah, because L1 is dive roll, R2 is to do your abilities, and then L2 is for swapping blades. For some reason, it's not letting me swap them. Has my control already gotten to that point and broken? Maybe it has. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> what a time for it to go as well. Are you kidding me? Come on, come on. It really is broken. Hold on. I need to check my settings real quick. Uh, there we go. Oh, wait. Oh, oh not quite. There we go. Okay, now it's, now it's back to normal. I think I must have just caught the options button at some point. Okay, you ready for this? And with Monster, big old slash and he's gone. Just didn't realize I changed. Ooh, executive order. New ability for Roland. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Right, fine. <laughs> typical RPG is typical. So we know we just got to take out four bosses. Ooh, the Saint Mantle. All right, let's have a look then. Saint Mantle. Any good, mate? Yep, dark proof as well. Boost dark resistance. Tell you what then, if we've got loads of dark monsters that we're going up against, um, which one would it be? Which one's considered dark magic? Blackness, I guess. Or at least I assume that would be it. Hold on. Uh, light or dark magic? Yeah, darkness and poison. Or maybe a little shred in poison and a bit in fire. So I reckon those will be the two that I'll go for. Uh, on the old tactic tweaker, I guess we'll go for a bit of dragony and a bit gooey. Those are the monsters that tend to live in the realm of darkness, don't they? So that'll work for me. Right, let's go and get ourselves another monster, isn't it, Evan, lad? All right. I like it when you call me Evan Boy, gotta admit. Made me feel like an old hero. Tell you what, seeing as it limits the amount of items you can use in match, let's make sure we are all maxed out before we even enter the encounter. And if Roland could actually start using his mana, that would be marvelous. I feel like he's not pulling his weight on that front. In we go. Round number two. Come on! Oh, it's a dragon! It's a big old dragon! All right, let's get ourselves in here. Oh, ouchie, matey. All right, see what we can do here then. Get some crystals in and give it a thwack. Okay, there we go, yeah, it's just basically use, use the, use the blade constantly. Unless maybe I've got an ability and then I might change it up a bit. Uh, do any spells work on him? Water? There we go. Somebody made a comment actually in the last episode about my use of spells. Like even though we look like a fire, t uh, sorry, a water type, I still tried fire. Because there have been instances in this game where it just straight up will just take the opposite. Imagine like the same like with the Mega Man theory or whatever. Where Iceman and Fireman are both like powerful against each other. At least I think it was Mega Man that that game had it. But there have been instances in this game where they just like, I've just done whatever, ouchie. 
Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. And big old slashes. Oh, no, get enough crystals. Uh, six cents of them. There you go. And go for it. Well, that's strange. So we didn't do... Oh, yeah, yeah, got them, got them. Whoa. There you go, nice. On the noggin. And as soon as you get a chance. Oh, I was one... I was one bit off. Now go for it. Nice, that's it. Oh, I thought he was about to go down again. That would have been pretty cool. Right. Oh, go Glim, go Glim, go Glim. Where is it? It's right there, it's right there. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Oh, I've lost it. I think it's... Oh, it's there, it's there, it's there. Come to me, go Glim. No, no, don't go away, don't go away, don't go away. Go, 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 go. Come on, give me, give me, give me. Yes. Let's be having you. Let's give him a whacking and send him hacking. There we go. You can do all you want, mate. So I'm coming in with the big slashes. I'm basically just going to keep Mornstar equipped. I'll just go for all these big moves. There are so many particle effects. And you know what? The PlayStation's actually holding up really well. If this was on any other console, it probably would lag like hell. Nice. Cool. Let's get him down now. Not much left to go. Get it. And another one. This cut loose move or whatever it's called is so good. In fact, I think cut loose might actually be <laughs> Strippy's move from the very first Nino Kuni game. Easy peasy. Two crystals revealed. Crystal Rose, oh my god. How about giving something to one of our other allies? You know what I mean? <laughs> I get it's evident everything, but still. What have we got? Oh, they're not quite as good, okay. We've got the better ones from the get-go. Making my way through town, I see ghosts, I approach and I talk to them and they say I shall prepare fruity rice today. So it's just a dead person, that's all it is. It's just a regular old dead person who likes to make mushy peas. Let's quickly open this chest here as well, didn't see this last time. Hey, there you go, what's that? An all be gone. I don't know if I mentioned this in videos, actually. It might have been on a live stream recently, to be fair. Uh, but I mentioned that there are a ton of items in this game that negate status effects. Like, you know, poison, sleep, confusion, this, that, and the other. But I can't recall more than maybe like a handful of times when I've actually had one of those status effects. And they actually affected me to the extent where I felt like using an item. You know what I mean? I think poison's maybe the only one that I've had happen more than once. But other than that, they just don't seem to be that frequent. Like, this game has, as a whole, felt easier than the first game by a clear mile. And I think everybody else has felt the same, so... I don't know, I feel like they missed the mark on certain points of this one. And I still don't know how I feel about this game. People keep asking me, do you like it more than the first one? And I'm like, mm, I don't know, I don't know, dude. I like elements of it. I like the combat of it. But then there's things like... I don't know, really. It's, it's really hard to say. I think I'm more invested in the story of the first one. But that's just me. Man, this guy's going down quick. Especially with this blade doing the business. Nice, get him, and... Can we knock him back? No, not quite. Oh, dodge, dodge, dodge. Yeah, they're all coming for me. Oh, don't let him get that. Knock him over before he strikes it. Nice, got him. Oh, he's so dead. This is the quickest one yet. Yeah, finished. <laughs> so fast. So, so fast. Yeah, no, and also I've, I've been a little bit disappointed in the lack of variety of monsters as well. I can appreciate why they took out the uh, familiars from the first game, because that's a lot to work with. That's basically they're making a Pokemon game at that point. But I would have hoped that they could have reused some of those character modelings or stylings for everything else. You know what I mean? Like, they could have created a larger variety of monsters in this game using some of the old familiars. Because then it would have almost been like a bit of a time with the world, right? It would have sort of had that kind of evolution of the characters over the course of the 300 years that have passed. But I don't know. I don't know if that's nitpicking or if it's me just wanting a little bit more out of something. Because there's only so many wyverns that you can fight of different colours until you're like, all right, this is this is just the same wyvern again and again and again. You know what I mean? Uh, where's the last one that I need to fight? Oh, of course it was this way, wasn't it? But that's kind of my, my stance on the game so far. And also, I'm kind of disappointed that there wasn't as much voice acting. Where we didn't have any Ghibli cutscenes this time around, I was kind of disappointed that there wasn't as much voice acting to kind of fill that void. I mean, I know for you guys watching the series, it's a slightly different experience to most Let's Plays because I voice act everything anyway. But I'm not very good, so <laughs> that's that's the trade-off, really. Watch this. But I don't know, that's kind of like my extended thoughts and like, you know, current feelings towards the game. 
Come on, give me a couple more of these. Give me a couple more, and... Big old slice. There we go, cool. Tell you what, just give me a six sensor real quick. Just crank me up a bit. There you go, nice. Oh, ouchie. I hope she's using her spark move right now. Oh, I'll tell you what, that blade, whatever it was, or wind move, that was working wonders. Let's get some heavy attacks in. There you go, nice. So let's get around to this blade real quick. Or we go for Mornstar. Oh yeah, Mornstar seems to be doing bits. I'm just gonna go for this move real quick though, yeah. Okay, so when I get Mornstar to fall, go for the wind move. Yeah, that's the one that's doing the big damage right here. Yeah, look at us go. We got this. And he's down, and he's not probably going to get up from this bit. We're good. As soon as I got the crystals. Gotcha. And one more spell. Finished. You are out of here! We didn't even bother with, like, the stray mobs that time. I do wonder what level we're going to be at during this, by the way. Because I did all that grinding between two of the episodes. And then <laughs> I barely got, like, three or four levels. Ooh, more Ga uh, more Thanos boots. So I'd say Ganon boots. Wrong one. <gasps> the gate is open. Heck. Hey, presto! They're open. Time to take on Dalaran at last. Oh, my head. Huh? Roland. Roland, are you okay? Roland! Oi! Not now of all times, Koshi! Roland! 